The decision by South Africa to grant diplomatic immunity to Russian President, Vladimir Putin, and other BRICS leaders for the summit, has sparked significant interest and debate. The BRICS summit, which brings together the leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is a crucial platform for discussing economic cooperation and global issues. Hence, South Africa's choice to provide diplomatic immunity for the participating leaders, has raised questions about the balance between diplomatic protocols and accountability for potential wrongdoing. The decision to grant diplomatic immunity is significant due to the importance of the BRICS summit, and its implications for international relations. South Africa's hosting of the summit holds great significance, as it provides an opportunity to strengthen economic ties among the BRICS nations and address key global challenges. By granting immunity to participating leaders, South Africa aims to ensure the smooth functioning of the summit and uphold established diplomatic norms. To ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. Diplomatic immunity is a principle that grants certain privileges and immunities to diplomats and visiting foreign officials, ensuring their freedom from legal jurisdiction in the host country. This issuance of diplomatic immunity by South Africa implies that Vladimir Putin could potentially visit Johannesburg without apprehension even if an international criminal court warrant for his arrest exists. The warrant to arrest Vladimir Putin stirred intense debate and controversy on the international stage. Allegations of criminal activities and human rights violations had prompted calls for his accountability. Critics argued that it could strain diplomatic relations and called for alternative avenues to address the allegations. Proponents emphasized the importance of holding leaders accountable regardless of their position, highlighting the complexity surrounding the warrant to arrest Vladimir Putin. One of the main concerns of this immunity revolves around the potential misuse of diplomatic immunity, which may shield leaders from legal consequences and accountability for their actions. Critics argue that this could undermine justice and the rule of law creating an environment where individuals accused of serious crimes can evade prosecution. The decision also raises questions about the overall impact on accountability and the promotion of human rights. Granting immunity to leaders accused of human rights violations or other criminal activities can be seen as contradictory to the principles of justice and the pursuit of truth. Critics argue that it sends a message that leaders are above the law, eroding public trust and undermining the credibility of the summit itself. While some nations have expressed understanding of South Africa's decision in order to maintain diplomatic protocols and facilitate the smooth functioning of the summit, others have voiced concerns and criticisms regarding the potential abuse of diplomatic immunity. The reactions reflect a range of perspectives on the balance between upholding diplomatic norms and ensuring accountability for potential wrongdoing. International organizations and human rights groups have closely monitored the situation, with some expressing disappointment and calling for greater transparency and accountability. The response from BRICS member countries has also varied, with some supporting the decision and emphasizing the importance of diplomatic immunity while others have urged caution and stressed the need for a thorough examination of the potential implications. The international response and reactions underscore the complexity surrounding diplomatic immunity, and highlight the ongoing debate on the delicate balance between diplomatic privileges and accountability for leaders accused of serious offenses. The South Africa Summit offers an opportunity for leaders to engage in fruitful discussions, explore investment opportunities, and strengthen diplomatic ties. The decision to grant diplomatic immunity, while controversial, reflects the host country's commitment to upholding diplomatic norms and ensuring the smooth functioning of the summit. However, the controversy surrounding this decision highlights the delicate balance between diplomatic considerations and the imperative of accountability for potential wrongdoing. The outcomes and consequences of the summit, including its impact on international relations and the pursuit of justice, will be closely observed and may shape future diplomatic events. What do you think of our video? 
let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.